Hello, I'm a Customer Community for your review from Citizen Break. Me out, check my videos, click right up here, or links be down below. Uh, here we have their Wasteland Biker minifigure. Of course, we have their standard packaging, their awesome packaging. Uh, normal stuff on the back. This is their carded figure, because it does have the Wasteland Biker, and it is on a card, of course. Uh, so this minifigure is from the Mad Max 2 movie. He's one of the top guys, one of the top villains in the movie. Um, I love that they've been doing a lot of Mad Max minifigures. They did Humongous, or whatever his name was. I think it's Humongous. They've done the Wasteland uh, pack, which had uh, Mad Max, uh, one of the Road Warriors, and um, the chick from the newer Mad Max movie. Uh, but this is one of the old ones. This is Mad Max 2. It's one of the older style movies. So let's get right into it. You know, I like to open my Citizen Brick figures. I don't think I have any carded figures now. I think I've opened everything. Let's get him out. There we go. So this guy does have a cool red mohawk. He does come with a crossbow, which is an official Lego crossbow. In, uh, I think this is the silver one. So he does come with some accessories. I am going to take off his uh, armor and um, neck piece, neck cloth right here. Just so I can show his full detail. We'll set that to the side. I'll put it back onto him after. I did take off the mohawk, which I will again put back on him after. So here's the minifigure. Uh, he is a light flesh. Uh, starting at his face, you can see he's got the white band going across his eyes. Does have some eyebrows. Standard uh, Lego eyes. Kind of has that neutral face look. Some cheek design. Or, um, and then he also has uh, a goatee. Looks exactly like the character from the movie. Nothing on the back of the head, so when the mohawk goes on, it doesn't cover up any details. Coming on to the chest and torso, you can see he has his armor on. Kind of looks like some football shoulder pads to me. Um, of course, with his uh, accessories, it looks a little bit different. They do cover up a little bit in the front, I believe. But you can see, starting at his neck, it does have a little bit of flesh. Tied up armor right here and some straps going across the uh, to the sides. And I presume to the back. A uh, little bit of a cut in the just under his chest and then coming down further has some chainmail uh, like armor with some holes in it and then minifigure can't come apart because the printing does go on the waist doesn't hurt it at all so you can see coming down to the waist and legs he does have a band going across his waist and then coming down further it does have what looks to be chaps so he does have his Groin covered with some studs, some silver studs right there. A little bit of some upper thigh flesh showing. And then it wraps around the sides. He does have knee pads on. And then there is no, um, doesn't look like there's shoe design. No, no boots or shoe design on the front. Coming to the left side of the mirror, it does have flesh tone arms, or light flesh arms to match his flesh tone. Has black hands for gloves. Nothing on the side of the body, but there is printing on the side of the waist. You can see that band from the front of it comes to the side. And then he does have uh, some printing right here. So again, that chap design. Uh, so you can see the cut right here and some flesh showing. And then does have boot design on the side of the legs. But nothing lower on the feet. Coming over to the right side, you can see again, same thing, flesh tone uh, arms, gloves on the hands, nothing on the side of the body. Uh, does have that waist printing for that band. And then coming down further, you can see the cut for the uh, flesh showing on the back. And he does actually have some arrows or some bolts right here on his uh, right leg side, so they'd be holstered right here, you can see, or sheathed. And there it looks like to be a little bit of a strap going across, and then you do have the boot line underneath that. Coming to the back of the minifigure, um, you can see his chest plate or upper chest plate does go around back with the straps. So you can see the hooks or the adjustable straps right there. Does have a little bit of a cut or tear in his upper shirt. We do have that flesh tone line on the middle of the back and then the chainmail armor that wraps around these sides in the front comes to the back. You can see again there are some links missing. I wonder if it's this, so it's not the same design, which is nice. They did different ones on each side. Coming on to the back of the waist, you can see he does have that band goes all the way around. 
And then we do have those chaps again. So you can see some Lego cheeks in the back right here. You can see the cutouts right here underneath and then the back of the boots. Which is nice, they did back leg printing. They don't always do that. So I like that they did it for this one. I guess to make sense you'd have to have the chap cutouts in the back. So this one just makes sense. So we're going to put his accessories on now. So he does have a shoulder plate. As you can see right here. So it does cover up some of the printing on the front, but not on the back. And then we do have some cloth, which we actually have a lot of cloth. And I believe they go... I don't think the direction matters. Because I think they're adjustable. So let's put the cloth on. And then we'll put his head on to adjust that. So these are two cloth pieces. Kind of want to be off-centered a little bit. Push his head down and then you can fold them up or whatever you want to do. They are folded up in the movie. We'll give him his mohawk. And then give him his crossbow. And there is our Wasteland Biker minifig. So an awesome minifigure again. I love the Mad Max stuff they're doing. We need a dog now. They haven't done the dog or the original Mad Max. They did the Tom Hardy one, not the, um, I believe it was Mel Gibson, if I remember correctly. Which I might have to uh, fact check that. Let's check right real quick. Um, there we go. I'm pretty sure it was... Um, it was Mel Gibson, was it not? It was. It was Mel Gibson. I'm right on that. So um, so the original Mel Gibson was Mad Max. The newer one was Tom Hardy, which I do like the newer one. The, the newer movie's a good one. It's a little weird if you're into that kind of stuff. Um, Mad Max is a, it's a weird, like, like sci-fi, wait, not sci-fi, but like apocalyptic wasteland action movie. Um, we do need the villain from the first Mad Max, or the, uh, from the newer Mad Max as well. He was, he's a really cool, um, character, has a lot of facial stuff, especially seeing, uh, the stuff that Citizen Brick has been doing lately with a lot of their masks, like Jason and whatnot. They can, they have the power to do it, so it'd be really cool to see something like that with the tubes and everything to the back. Um, but this is an awesome Mad Max minifigure. Super glad I got him. Uh, can't wait to see what other minifigures come out in the future. If you want to check out my other Citizen Brick videos, click right up here or links will be down below. Um, and uh, check out their website. Of course, link will be down below for him. Be sure to leave a like if you have a like video and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And as always, thanks for watching.